Hi everybody, Brian from Hydrogen Generation here. I'm here to show you today how to do maintenance on a hydrogen generator. Uh, we're going to be mixing up some KOA and some water to show the electrolytes. going to flush the system, fill it up, and show you how it's all done. Um, I also got the original hydrogen generator we bought when we first started this venture. I'm going to show that to you. Uh, let's get started. <coughs> Got our potassium hydroxide, comes from AAA Chemicals out of Texas. Uh, they can sell it to you and have everything else delivered. Uh, they can deliver anywhere you want. I buy about eight pounds at a time, should last me about a year. Got to be steam distilled water. These two together make the electrolyte, which we will fill into the system. And all right, we're back. Open up your water. Just a cup, we dump out about that much. So as you can see here, this is pretty much what potassium hydroxide is. Flake, use drain cleaner, but you also use it for fertilizer to like change the pH of the soil. And so you can either buy it through them, uh, if you run out of it and need it someplace else, most grow shops or you know, plant places or uh, nurseries will have this. It might go by the name of potash. So what we need to do is that we need to get the water spinning. So I just use a piece of water and or a piece of wire and a drill. So this does this breaks up the uh, All right, so it sits behind the fender well. Here's the drain plug. Here's the fuel cell. Here's the dryer. Um, there's no water in the dryer, so there's no reason to drain it. Uh, as you can see down here, check the wires, make sure everything's snug, everything's good. This thing right I said is rock solid. This is the commercial grade. This is the only way to really do it. I'll show you the other one. and. Uh, You'll understand what I'm talking about. So I just take Let's take a jug. So what I like to do is just spin it. Let it drain. Okay, just to show you the difference. This is hooked up, but this is industrial nylon. There's seven stainless steel electro plates in there. Everything in here is stainless steel. This thing is commercial grade and bulletproof. Okay, I don't know how much more. Made in America is a real deal. This isn't some Chinese cheap piece of crap or some experimental homemade competition. So this is a $200 to $400 hydrogen generator. Basically what it is, it's about $40 for the Home Depot stuff. You have your electrode here, 
positive negative, positive negative, which goes down in here. These guys, they use stainless steel backing plates. There's probably ten dollars in backing plates here. Nylon, all thread with brass bolts. Um, what this does is it's hydrogen creation in the purest form. Basically, it causes electrolysis. These things vibrate with a positive negative frequency. And what that does is that breaks up the water molecules and produces hydrogen. So, uh, if you, you know, when everybody says, oh, I can do it for 200 bucks, or I saw it online for $200, or these guys are doing it online, this is what it is. You know, I went out and bought one just to show you guys. I didn't make this. Um, I'd weld much better. But, uh, so this is your $200 hydrogen kit. So beware, you know. Um, ours comes with a two year warranty. If we install it, I'll back it up for two years. So we got a way better product. Um, so here's what you're looking at if you don't know what you're getting.